There's a tape in the bedroom. So we're going to the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> the amazing Rando! Watch Rando the Great construct sets with his very mind! Why, why, why did I do that? I have no clue why I did that. I just did that because it's funny. Did it? Is it funny though? I don't know. I don't know anything really. I just do things. You give me something to occupy my mind with, and I will get bitch slapped by an oak door. Hello? Ooh. You know, there's one thing I haven't done with all this new exploring of the house and such. I haven't looked at the paintings and, and pictures in the rooms. Granted, some of the rooms didn't have anything extra to look at. Maybe there was a floater in the toilet, but <laughs> who wants to really look at that? Hello? Ah, right on the nightstand. Purple! All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Gimme, gimme, gimme that tape. Go back down to the tape player. Oh, hi, dresser. Are you gonna dress me nice? I don't know. Ah. Uh, I don't even know what clothes are in this house. Whose house is this? It's not mine. I don't cat I don't have purple bedding. I don't know why I would. What's well, not the worst color in the world? It's just not for me. It's not befitting my uh, personal tastes, I suppose. I don't know. Ah, I'm just going to do the thing. Listen to more tapage. And yeah. And yet, this analogy is an incomplete one. Yeah. For obviously the mind is an exceedingly complex thing. Indeed. If the bedroom represents the thinking, dreaming part of the brain, then it is the basement that represents those lower, unconscious parts. Mm. The basement is dark. It is buried. <coughs> it is a place full of cobwebs where memories are stored. Ooh. A poignant comparison, truly. Often the unnerving uncertainty that comes with considering the deeper aspects of the human psyche the is dark not unlike gazing down at the swimming blackness pooled at the bottom of a basement stairwell. It is a place we spend our childhoods filling with monsters that will lay for years in patient silence. It is a place that, barring some specific errand, we seldom ever want to go. Okay. So, does this mean that there's going to be a monster of my own making down in the basement that I have to face? <laughs> or am I reading too much into this? <laughs> Jimmy, help me! Ah, oh, fuck you. You're on your own with this one. Ah, uh, my Jimmy Stewart impression has gotten horrible in the last couple minutes. I've been kind of yelling, so it's kind of my own fault, but... Uh, Jimmy, you're no help. Ah, there's no reason for me to help. Ah, that's not Jimmy Stewart. You're an imposter. Are you the basement? Apparently not, because I can't even open you. Where's the basement? Where? Do I go back into the kitchen? Was there a door in the kitchen that I didn't see that goes into the basement? Are you the basement? Nope. You're the other place that I went to before. Where? Okay, there we go. Maybe. Basement. Okay. Brace yourself. Clench thine buttocks and prepare for... A potential scariness. Oh, look. <laughs> Insulation. That's, that's not so bad, but still. Follow the walls. Dear. Dork. Dick. Dingy. Do. 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 Da. 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 Hello, Mr. Tape. 
somehow attached to the wall. Do I want to know why? Do I want to turn around? I kind of want to get out of here now. Get me out of here. Up these stairs. I think I heard a voice. Mammy! Okay. Give me. Play the tape. Look, go ahead. Of course, this comparison, though appropriate, is a very heavy handed one. Okay. And often the basement is little more than a storage space. Okay. With okay. Corpses of spiders and wood mice. Right. right While right. poets and psychoanalysts no doubt dread the thought of a dark basement, in truth, it is the bedroom, the waking mind, that place of dreams. It is actually the most frightening of all. Is it? Why? They're in the master bedroom. Oh dear. Okay. You're starting to. Hello? What was that noise? Was that me? Or was that something else? I don't know. Go back upstairs, find the master bedroom, and see what what we're going to do. What are we going to do? I know we we're going to find another tape. Obviously. Hello? Are you the master bedroom? I would assume such. I also noticed that the scan lines are getting worse. Does, is that symbolic, or is that just me being coincidentally thinking of things that are just in my own head? I don't know. I want the tape. Give me the tape. I'm going to jump on the bed. I piss someone off by jumping on bed. Eh, give me. Give me tape. Give me tape. Ah. Tape, 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 tape. Tape, tape. Oh, come on. I almost had it. This is the most tedious part of the whole thing. Is trying to find the sweet spot to pick up the tape. Good gobbledygook. Oh, you're new. Why are you up here? Does this mean I can't go down to the kitchen? Or should I just... Fuck it, I'm already here, so I may as well. Hello? There we go. It is here, in the bedroom, okay. that we are almost vulnerable. Well, this Each is... Each night, we shut our senses to the world for hours at a time. This is the most in the house to interesting safe until audio to tour that I've ever been... In the been state of extreme vulnerability, we will spend something like 20% of our lives. Anything might stand beside us. Really? Watch us. Keep us company until dawn, and that we will never like perceive mouth. it. We can only pray that the house will not let such things carry on as we sleep. In this way, during these hours, the bedroom seems less like a mind and more like a mouth. For oh. it is here that the house is most likely to betray us. Are you going to chew it me? It is here that we place ourselves most at the house's mercy and spend each night hoping that it will not bite down. Is, is that why you've got teeth around the things? What is... Oh, that's a lot to process, and it suddenly just said, fuck you, you're done. That was actually really interesting and really entertaining and really neat and really, really, really got me on edge right at the end. I, I don't know what else to say. That's, that's There's a lot to take in. There's a lot of analogy comparisons between the human body and the, and the structure of a house. Uh, but we've all already touched upon that and touched into a lot of other weirdness in this whole process. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this, let me know by giving that like button a bop. Leave some comments down below. Any other games by Kitty Horror Show you want to see? Because you're probably going to see some later on down the road. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, it'll amaze.